the spirit, the essence of America, lies in the hearts and souls of us. You see, some miss this message. It wasn't sexy. It wasn't a great sound bite. But I saw a young lady. I saw a young lady in Philadelphia who came to me and said, I'm a producer on a major cable show, and I watch your town halls and talk about the spirit of our country and my role. And she said, you've affected my life. You see, I believe we all need to live a life bigger than ourselves. Yes, we need to live a life a little bit bigger than ourselves. We need to reach out to help lift someone else because you know what? It comes to us naturally if we let it. You see, we are, as human beings, kind of hardwired to want to give someone else a lift, give someone else an opportunity. And when we reach out, it's so interesting, and when we reach out and help someone else, you see, what it does is it opens us, ourselves, to recognizing and receiving the help that we need in our lives. It's a virtuous circle. When we help someone else to rise, it opens us up to receive the things that we need in our lives, regardless of, of who we are. To paraphrase an old adage, I sought the greatness of America in her harbors and in her rivers, and I did not find it. I sought it in her fertile fields and boundless forests and did not find it. I sought her greatness in her halls of Congress and I did not find it. You see, after this campaign, I see it in us when we come together, when we lift one another with our eyes on the horizon. Throughout my campaign, I have said the Lord may have another purpose for me. And it set all the pundits a Twitter. Does that mean he's not committed or, or he's not focused or he's not energetic? It showed to some degree how little they understand about life. You see, I have always said that the Lord has a purpose for me as he has for everyone. And as I suspend my campaign today, I have renewed faith, deeper faith, that the Lord will show me the way forward and fulfill the purpose of my life. Thank you and God bless.